All right, this is another Geeks for Geeks quiz. Very helpful. So I'm working on practicing fork processes. So it says, consider the, col the following code fragment we have right here. So fork equals zero. That means we are in the child process. Child process. And since fork always returns twice, both of these are going to actually return. So this one is going to return non-zero. And assuming the fork is successful, this is going to be a positive value. So this is going to be the parent process right here. And this bit of code will consider the child. So this is just a little confusing because they're just switching the letters around. But let u and v be the values printed by the parent process. Let x and y be the values printed by the child process. OK? So we're essentially saying we're going to let x is going to be the child associated with the child. And u is going to be associated with the parent. So we look at the parent first. That's where I, that's where I go. a is equal to a minus 5. So whatever value a has, it's now a minus 5. So the way I'm going to do this is like sort of a little number line. I'm going to say the parent is a minus 5. And then the child is a plus 5. So I'm going to put it up here. This is my number line. a plus 5. So they are a distance of 10 apart from each other at this point. Because I'm doing that because of what they're asking for here. So if we say that u represents the parent, u is down here. And we're saying x represents the child, x is up here. That means u is x minus 10. So we look at our options. Oh, they all have them in the other way around. OK, that's fine. Um, we could say u plus 10 is equal to x. So that's going to be true. So I'm going to see which of these is possible for that. And that gives me C or D. The next thing is V is either equal to Y or V is not equal to Y. And V is supposed to represent the address of A. Now since, since these are sharing, since the child process, they're sharing the same virtual address space. So they should have the same virtual address space. So I want the option that says that they are equal. So the answer to this is C. Uh, once again, I did not make this code up. I find it very useful. It's from uh, Geeks Quiz, which is geeksforgeeks.org.